everyone welcome to your new moon reading and i thought i change it up a little bit to something a little bit different i don't think i've ever done a new moon reading before so this will be a first and the layout is also slightly different i'm just using one camera so capricorn how are you doing i hope you're doing well this is a general reading so take what resonates and drop the rest okay so we're going to pick some oracle cards emotion emotion this is the keyword so perhaps uh, something to look at in terms of your emotional well-being positivity keep your emotions positive at this point and luck i feel luck is on your side good energies there for the new moon Let's see what the Oracle deck says for you, Capricorn. What does, oh, one card flew out. We have three of one. Time to explore some, Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know for this full moon? Ah, oh, very nice, Wheel of Fortune. So we have three of ones, which is exploration. It's time to explore. Um, opportunities i feel for many of you would be exploring how you're feeling right to do with your emotions and you see here the water as well so it's about exploring emotions emotional well-being emotional health wellness uh, mental wellness as well and wheel of fortune um, you're gonna feel quite lucky and quite productive as well so you're feeling lucky, I would say make a decision in doing something that maybe you've been holding back for a while and it may be a good time to go into it in the new moon season. And we have Knight of Wands. You are pushed to take inspired action. Uh, go ahead and take inspired action. We have Eight of Swords and Knight of Pentacles. Okay, take Take inspired action, but at the same time, you are also, um, if, we're, if we're looking at eight of sorts, it's about looking at some of your self-limiting beliefs. So, okay, so I, you know, I'm piecing this together for you. It feels like you are asked to explore some of your emotions and look at your self-limiting beliefs. But we are also being pointed in the direction to practice patience because Knight of uh, Pentacles is talking about, you know, you seeing the fruit of your labor, right? Positivity and luck coming your way. But you do need to have a little bit of patience and stay in integrity. The King of Swords pointing us towards integrity, honesty, Let's see what else does Capricorn need to know for this new moon season. Okay. Yeah, really, definitely. It's about exploring some of the fears that have been holding you back. You know, we have the Eight of Swords and then we have Nine of Swords. So Nine of Swords is, you know, I mean, this in general is about energy of worry and, and anxiety. However... Um, because we have the King of Swords here, we also have the Knight of Pentacles here. I would say it's not so much about worry and anxiety. It's more about looking at, how, at your mindset and see how you may be stopping yourself from uh, making progress. So this new moon may highlight some of these things for you. Bask in the moonlight, Capricorn. Allow the, the moonlight to, even though it's a new moon coming, but this is showing us a full moon. So Maybe for two weeks, it's about working through some of your fears and your limitations. And by the time the new moon comes around, things are going to settle and you're going to feel much more complete, more positive, luck coming in. Let's see, let's get some clarifiers for you, Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? What else does Capricorn need to know? Okay, you have the magician. 
All right. So be patient with yourself emotionally also. This is, uh, there's no movement. So this confirms what we're saying in terms of, you know, things, uh, being patient, wait a little while. You are, even though you're asked to explore, you may not get the, the answers immediately. Um, no, you know, but, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune, it just feels like things will work in your favor in the long term and use the power of your mind. The magician is about using your resources, the power of your mind and move towards positivity. Capricorn, do you have a decision that you are hoping to make? It feels like it. You're making a decision about something and maybe that is what is causing some of these, you know, um, self-limiting beliefs, fears coming in and you're feeling emotionally, feeling uncertain because of the decision. This seems to be like a big thing coming in during this new moon. Let's see what else. What else do we need to know? What else, what kind of information we can get to help Capricorn? Seven of Cups, yeah, still decision-making, uncertain. And then we have Seven of Swords. Are you feeling uncertain about someone or a situation it feels like you're dealing with someone you're not sure whether this person can be trusted and so you are kind of delaying the process as well delaying your decision because of this hmm let's see what does this deck say can we have a clarifier for capricorn some answers, some clarity. Ah, this is the answer. It is okay to change the direction. So if you have been thinking about this decision, whether to go ahead or not, it is telling you it is okay to change the direction. You are not bound by it. You are not stuck. You are not you know, you can change your direction. It is totally okay with regards to this decision in dealing, you, you know, feeling, there's a lot of feeling of uncertainty. You're uncertain about the situation or the person. It's causing you to question a lot of things. And the sign here for you is it is okay to change direction in this new moon. Okay, what else? Deep knowing. You have a deep knowing, trust that, you know, your deep knowing about this person or situation making you he hesitate. This deep knowing, trust it. It seems to be pointing you in the right direction. Very interesting. Let's see. Um, Hidden Truth Oracle. Let me use this one. This is, a, uh, this is a new deck. Let's see. What can we, what kind of answers we can get from the Hidden um, hidden Deck, Hidden Truth Oracle. Oh my God, that flipped out really quickly. Hmm. So um, we can take this in, in whichever perspective, right? I'm afraid to contact you. So I'm afraid to contact you could be about the situation. The situation itself is afraid or you are afraid or the other person. Um, I won't take this literally, okay? I'm not, you know, I'm not going to take this message literally like this person is afraid to contact you. It's more about the energies maybe feeling uncertain or this could be your inner uh, feelings you know you're afraid to go further because something your deep knowing is telling you to hold back this uncertainty you're not sure whether it is truth or it is illusion i would say to wait it out wait it out for the moonlight for the full moon so you have about two weeks right uh, from new moon to full moon you have about two weeks to make that decision you did have the patience card. So the patience card is asking you to just wait, you know, not to hurry. So don't make this decision in a big hurry, I would say. You will gain clarity as you pass this new moon season and as you enter the full moon. 
you will have clarity. And keep a focus on positivity. You know, sometimes um, luck or wheel of fortune is about circumstances, situations, putting a full stop to something. You know, uh, we often think that the wheel of fortune means that, you know, whatever we are doing, it's going to work in our favor. But sometimes what works in our favor is not doing something, <laughs> you know? So don't make a decision as yet. Wait, you do have time, right? Even though this says it is okay to change the direction, you do have time. I feel like you have time. So don't rush into it. Wait it out one step at a time and things will... I feel, you know, perhaps in the next reading that I do for you for the month of um, June, right? You will get more clarity about the situation, Capricorn. Okay, so I hope this gives you something to think about. Um, to have more patience, just wait it out. Don't hurry to make this decision and know that, you know, keep a positive mindset and trust in a deep knowing, you, have, you know, the full moon here, full moon here, full moon here, another full moon here. So you may need to wait it out to the full moon, even though this is a new moon reading. Okay, so I hope this serves you. I will stick with you again, Capricorn. God bless you. And if you need uh, clarity in your personal journey, you can always book a private session. See you then. Bye for now.